Welcome to this episode of Eagle Air TV. Shout out to Arvis Bank and the Nixa Education Foundation. I'm Blake Edson. And I'm Zoe Walker. This episode includes the planning of the docudrama, men's volleyball, and prom. The annual docudrama takes the coordination of multiple parts of the Nixa community. Bryn Nelson tells the story. Student actors, local businesses, and emergency services teamed up to portray an important message about drinking and driving to Nixa High School students. Nurse Melinda Lansdowne stepped up to coordinate the docudrama this year. This is our annual docudrama um, that we do. Uh, we try to involve our junior class so that um, we can bring awareness to um, the dangers of distracted and drunk driving. I've been involved in planning. Um, we begin at the beginning of the year and setting a date. Um, we work with the administrators here at the school and pick a date that works around prom. Um, when a lot of kids are going to be out and about um, and on their own um, that evening. Um, and then we also try to plan around our spring testing schedule. We um, work with local law enforcement agencies and um, EMS to plan a date. Um, we have some pre-planning meetings that we do. Um, and then get together and, and um, hash all the details and then uh, so we've had really good in community involvement with um, one of our local um, record services and they actually free of charge provide the vehicles for us and bring the vehicles and stage them here um, and just make sure that everything's set up um, safely. They make sure that, that there's nothing electrical hooked up to the vehicles that would harm the kids. Um, fire department will come and check the vehicles and make sure there's nothing that, that is harmful um, and dangerous. Junior Eris Iber, an actor in the docudrama, says she uses emotions to guide her through her acting, not a script. Um, we'll walk out of the car and basically try to like help like whatever our instincts are um, to help the others. It's all improv. Um, we've talked about where we're going to start and then that's kind of it. We have certain people who are going to be taken off in the helicopter or um, put into the back of the ambulance, um, which is, might be where I end up. Um, so. It's basically all instincts of just like what I would actually do in the moment. Luke Spain, an employee at Cox, works with the emergency services for Nix's docudrama. Come in and help coordinate and manage all of these events. Uh, I've done a little over a hundred of these docudramas in my life, so uh, come with a lot of experience and, and try to just help keep things organized, make recommendations, things like that. Uh, I'm in, by no means in charge of anything. Uh, I just kind of help out and keep things going the right direction and, and problem solve. Uh, as of the day of the event, I assist with makeup. Uh, I will do the presentation, uh, the assembly afterwards. And then of course I help coordinate all of Cox Health Services as far as EMS and helicopter and things like that when they're used. So. I mean, makeup varies a lot depending on what we're going to do. We, we do it for a lot of different kinds of simulations and docudramas and things like that. Uh, realistically, uh, for something like this, we mostly just come in, do a lot of bruising, kind of try to simulate what these car crashes really look like. You know, we, we kind of decide where they're going to be at the car, what happens to them, and then we kind of make it look like that's the case. So we don't have anything particularly detailed for something like this, but uh, the range of, of detail that we may do just kind of depends on what we're doing. So we really enjoy doing these quite a bit. Uh, it's a really fun opportunity to get out in front of the students, and, and, and our primary goal when we host an event like this is just to show firsthand what consequences of these types of events can look like. Uh, and that's really what our focus is, is, is this is a safe environment where there, these consequences aren't real, um, but you're able to experience them in a semi-real environment. You're able to see them as they really would be uh, in a way that doesn't cost us long term as, uh, as it would if this was a real crash. Thank you to all who were involved in Nix's docudrama. The event helps students think about the consequences to distracted and drunk driving betrayed this important message before prom to keep everyone safe. Remember to think before getting behind the wheel. For Eagle Air TV, this is Brent Nelson reporting. Nix's first ever men's volleyball team stepped onto the court this year. Hannah Sheeman digs in. Men's volleyball has been receiving feedback, setting up plays, and springing into action during their first ever season. 
Head coach Annie Zimmerman enjoys teaching the boys. It's been a lot of fun, actually. I have a group of boys that are really excited to learn and uh, get better, learn about the game, and they have progressed a ton. So I think seeing that progress happen and where we were at the beginning and then where we are now has been the most exciting part. Most of them were starting from zero experience. We had a few guys in the gym that, that did have some playing experience, which helped a lot. We were able to lean on them to help the other guys. Sophomore Colt McCoy plays outside and middle. It's definitely an experience, you know. I've never played before, and I know some of the kids on our team have never played before, and we're all learning together. We're all getting better. I used to not want to play. I used to think it was weird, but now that I've played, I've realized that there's a lot more to it that meets the eye, you know. There's going to be moments where things aren't going perfect, and we have to figure out how to get through that. So, of course, we always have our struggles, but that's the great thing about um, being in a team sport is you figure out how to work with those people and lean on each other and help each other out. And just learning how to be a good person as well as a good teammate always leads you to being a better player. For more details about men's volleyball, contact Coach Zimmerman. For Eagle Air TV, this has been Hannah Scheman reporting. On Friday, May 17th, the senior trip to Silver Dollar City is happening. Hey Blake, do you like to dance? Yeah, of course I do. Lucy Camacho brings us to the dance floor. Prom took place April 27th at the White River Conference Center. Junior Chloe Duffy loved her time at prom. I really liked that they had a lot of food, like just, you know, just to have during the night and all of the drinks that they had. Um, I liked the music there, it was amazing. and. It got everyone pumped up and, you know, everyone danced and jumped and whatever. Senior Angela Lee noticed the differences between prom and homecoming. It's a lot more different. Like, the setup's obviously way more different because we're not in the school. And there's, like, food and catering. And, like, we had games this year. And, like, the photo booth is also, like, different as well. Because instead of, like, homecoming, you have, like, the props and stuff. Like, you still have that, but they have, like, the printout picture things. And the music was also, like, way different. Duffy enjoyed getting ready with friends. I went to a friend's house and I got ready, did my makeup, and she did my hair. Um, her mom helped me with my dress to put it on. You know, it was nice, and my day got ready there too. For Eagle Air TV, this is Lucy Camacho reporting. Thanks for joining us, Nixa High School. Remember, graduation takes place at 1.30 on Sunday, May 19th at the Great Southern Bank Arena. Stay tuned for a look at the dramatic docudrama. Stay safe and you matter. Go, 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 you can stop. No, no, we, we were just driving home, we were coming from a party, I don't know what happened.